So I lit the incense and I lit my candle. And now we get to walk and enjoy the beauty that is this place. Um, Chieko-san didn't tell me too much about this place when we visited, other than there are, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, 83 of these kind of shrines that are dedicated to some specific um, priest. And there's, you know, the family cemetery. And fun fact, she said that it's actually really expensive to um, have be buried in a place like this. So a lot of people are switching to indoor cemeteries here. Um, they put a little shrine for you and all that. And this place is just beautiful. And it's a lovely day, it's a nice, uh, I don't know, 60 degrees outside. So this place is predominantly um, Shintoism and a lot of the customs and everything that they do here, um, for this place at least, is Shintoism. And according to Chieko, that is uh, Mother, um, that is the deity who watches over everybody. And they're doing restoration on the temple, so I'm not going to bother them too much, but it's just very pretty here. Oh my gosh, you can barely see what's going on. I'm going to try to get a little closer then. It's very bright today, so... That trees are coming in and there's mother in all of their glory so we'll come back down the path here and I'm gonna go back into those back corners um, they blocked it off this time, uh, but before they were doing restoration, over there, um, you can kind of see those little shrines in the background. Those are the shrines for all the prominent monks um, and priests that um, have served, apparently, in this temple. And so when one of them passes away, they get a uh, statue for this place, which I thought was pretty cool. And this is not one of the bigger temples or the touristy temples, so there's not really too many quote-unquote fun things to do here. Um, I can't remember what temple we went to, but it was in the main city, and there was hundreds of hundreds of people there. Um, big, flashy, you know, signs and everything that was trying to... You got your fortune there, and you got wished for good wishes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, I don't know, like, I like these little areas more. They're a lot more quieter, a lot more peaceful. And definitely more relaxing. Personally, I don't want to tread too much um, without Jacobs on here, so I'll stick to the main path. Don't want to be disrespectful or do anything that I'm not supposed to do. Yeah, this place is definitely, definitely beautiful. And it's right in the main, like, middle of the city. I mean, you can kind of see in the background there's just houses and developments and apartments and all that. And the people here take really good care of the history of this place. And they try to preserve it as much as possible.
some incense nicely burning there. It's up to the cemetery, and this is, like I said, just the main parkway. Oh, this is open now. Oh, yeah, this is where we can go pray, ring the bell. So very cool. You really can't see it through the glass, kind of, but there's a whole shrine back there. People put their fortunes up with their charms for good wishes and all that. Crows here sound weird. <laughs> Um, according to Chieko san, this tree has been here for over a thousand years. And it's a very big tree. So. And this is the place that we went to pretty much my first week here. There it is, there, there it is. That's the bell that I wanted to show off. Um, very traditional bell. The doors here are beautifully intricate and well made but with a touch of modern day stuff. And yeah that's our visit to Sunpoji Temple. I'm probably gonna go get some lunch or some food right now. Um, there's a bakery somewhere close that I want to go visit. They had a lot of good stuff there. Anyway, see you guys later. Hope you enjoy the videos. Uh,